Hey guys, this is John, and this is another Clock as a Weapon video. I'm playing Tapu 2. This is the very first game of the session. Welcome to the video and this series. Let's play A6 against Knight C3. Trying to stay even or ahead of my opponent on the clock in these three minute games, as usual. Okay, Knight H3, uh, let's play Knight F6. Expecting castles, and I'll play B4 now, see where that Knight goes. Goes to E2, okay, so let's go D5. High rated opponent here, 2673. I like my position so far though. Be nice to have a knight on f5, but we can't be choosy. Let's play bishop e7. And I'll go queen b6. Maybe a5 coming. Also debating when I should castle. Uh, let's play a5 right now. Okay, and g4. Hmm. Now I'm thinking about h5. This is often a good idea in this type of structure. If g5, I can close it with g6. Yeah, and now when I castle on the king side, my king should be pretty secure. Okay, my opponent is not slowing down at all, which is fine. All right, maybe bishop a6 at this point. Well, he can take on c5. Even though I'm behind on the clock here, I don't mind at this point because I feel like my position is good. So let's actually capture. I want to see which way he recaptures. Okay, does that. Mm -hmm. All right, continue with a4. An f5, wow. Immediate breakthrough. Interesting. Well, let's take. I guess he's going to take here is the idea. Or that. Okay. Um... All right, I see the point. Let's go here. Take. Mm -hmm. and now I'm going to go queen b5 and try for this or possibly knight c4. We'll see how white reacts to that. He is just not slowing down at all, though. <laughs> so I may not get the chance. All right, now i got to watch for knight takes g6. So I'm going to go here. Meet that with knight b6. Don't know if white saw that move, but maybe they did. Okay, this seems awfully shaky for my opponent. Okay, mm, if I take g5, there's the capture on f7. What's going on there? I don't know. Well, let's find out. I only have 50 some seconds left, 46 seconds left. All right, let's take that. King's out in the open, but I'm up a pawn. All right, let's go here. Mm -hmm. Thinking B3 is coming. Let's take this first. And now here, arch c7, okay, take, go here. I think this is really good for me, but I have no time. <laughs> I know I'm failing at the point of this series in the very first game, but what can you do, guys? It goes like that sometimes. See what he does here. Okay, take. Playing for an attack here. Queen takes d4, maybe. Okay, let's go for a trade now. Okay, I have good chances in this end game because of my opponent's poor bishop. 
Okay. Let's see if we can beat the clock here. Oh, and I'm going to get the mate. All right. So 5.6 seconds to spare. Yeah, fortunately for me, even though I pushed it to the limit with that time management, I'm going to accept this guy's rematch. I like playing against this type of opponent. Even though I pushed it to the limit with the time management, my position was good enough, but not what I want in this series. <laughs> okay, so we're back at it. Let's try to make this a better run at a three minute uh, time advantage. Well, not a full three minutes, but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, let's go E4. Any sort of time advantage in a three minute game against a player like this is something I will take. Let's play A4. Hmm. I'm going to bring this back now and maybe knight c4 to come. Okay, let's go here. Now he's probably going to maneuver, yeah, against this bishop or into f4. That's fine. Let's play here. Hmm, okay. Just step over. Yep, knight does come in. And now, I think I'm going to try for this. My knight on f3 is a bit misplaced, so let's see what happens when I start maneuvering. Looks like he wants b5. Let's bring, let's bring this here. So b5 I can take, and then a5 will be loose. Okay, continue with the plan. Maybe this and bishop g4. Ah, okay, here I can win a pawn if I want. Take and then bishop takes h5. Ah, but he can take the other way, okay. So let's go here. Can take like that and hit the rook on a1. Mm -hmm. Let's go h4. Step here. This is a very active player too. I can tell he, he likes to look for the initiative, which is a smart strategy, especially in these quick games. Let's go here. Mm -hmm. It's knight coming into d4 now. Oh, not yet. Now I'm tempted to play bishop takes e5. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to seek the initiative back. Take, take, and then knight d7 at the end, I'm thinking. Can take here first. Okay. Can take on d1 first, but I wasn't quite worried about that. You yeah, know, this looks nice. He might capture in bishop g7. But a fairly open board. I have a rook and two pawns. His king should be more exposed. I like my chances here. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's going after f2. It's a good move. Um, Got to be careful where I step here. Very careful. Oh, there's also g3, isn't there? Yeah. Well, let's do this. Bishop d4, I'm going to go here. And he just takes, okay. Probably wise. I'm going to take this way. I don't know if this is best. May not be, but... I'm a little confused as to what to do at this point. Ah, is he trapping my rook? Traps the rook. And I can't even get a piece for it. Hmm, that's too bad. Rook e7, bishop d6. Amazing. Rook's completely trapped on this on the seventh rank. Yeah, nowhere to go. All right. Yeah, that was perhaps misassessed on my part. I think the sacrifice is good, but eh. bishop g7, maybe the position's not looking too hot here. He wants a rematch. I will rematch him. Might as well keep going against this opponent, right? Make it a mini-match. 
<laughs> okay, I'm behind on the clock every game so far. Let's try not to make it three in a row. All right, let's take, play bishop f5. I think my move quality has been fine. I like what I'm getting out of the opening against this player, but obviously time could be better, as always. Mm -hmm. Let's go here. F3, I'll play knight d6. This is actually something that happens in this line fairly often. Uh, the opponent expanding like this. Mm. Let's go f5, I think. Let's fight for some space in the center. Creates a weakness here, but I don't think white's in a great place to exploit that yet. So take. Mm -hmm. Maybe bishop g5? Let's try it. Ninety five in response. Hmm. Don't know about that one though. Because I can take and play queen b6 check. And then maybe rook f2 coming. Rook f2. Active move. Now, let's see. I can take that bishop on c1. Expecting queen d3, I guess. There's queen g4, okay. Queen g4, looking to take on e6, maybe. Mm hmm. Actually, that looks like a challenging move. If I take on c1, I'm not afraid of the immediate capture. I'm probably afraid of queen takes g6, among other moves. Yikes, what's happening here? Hmm. Don't like the look of knight f7 either. I don't know. I don't know that this is a good position for me. I'm just going to try this. I can't calculate what's going on. Just recaptures. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just have multiple pieces hanging, don't I? Well, let's try this and see what happens. I am attacking over here. Uh, maybe I can get away with something. Oh, I can take here. Not sure that he saw this. <laughs> Once again, I'm like a full huge amount of time behind here. Uh, take. I was going to say a full minute, but it's even more than that. Okay, this is just winning for me. Oh, he takes that way. Okay, check though. Check and then bishop takes. This is over. Okay, that just might be how it goes against this guy. I, oh, and I, I didn't update from the last one. I lost and then I won. Might just be that way against this player. Well, let's go again. Play knight f3. It might be that he plays dubious at times, full on going for the initiative. And I will have to try to exploit it. Choose my choose my shots and see what happens. Okay, queen a5. I'm not aware of this move, but looks interesting. Okay, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> Speaking of choosing your shots. That was a total knee-jerk reaction. Yikes. Okay. Um, I guess I'll play this. Maybe hope that I can somehow cause problems against this queen. Probably not going to happen. Yeah. Dropping a knight. Not an auspicious start. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go here. Go here. Rookie five, I guess. Where's that queen going? 
I'm gonna go here. It's probably the best move to attack this or that, okay. But if I can get bishop f1 in, it's not a slam dunk yet. Here. I guess I'll try this. And as a reminder, I usually play random opponents, but this opponent seems to be pretty challenging. Higher rated, plays super fast, basically the antithesis of my style. I tend to be pretty meticulous, hence why this series is a challenge for me. So this is good practice, okay. Yeah, I guess he's just going to sack the queen. Queen takes f1. All right. Well, this is better than I could have hoped for, I think, initially. Still dead loss, but at least there's a slight imbalance now. He's going to go after my rook. I really hate to have to take, but I may have to. Could play f3, I guess. And he still takes. Yeah, I think I have to capture, unfortunately. I wanted to keep some material on. Now this should be extremely easy for black. But I'll keep trying. Maybe a rook takes e6 type move in the future. Let's play h4 first. Hmm. Okay, I'll just push. Maybe queen d3 and hope he misses rook takes e6. Anytime the word hope enters your vocabulary, it's not good in chess. <laughs> He's not going to miss it. Bishop f5 would be good here. Yeah. Rook d4. Okay, this is harder though for white. Rook c3, maybe queen over here. Okay, c6. Okay, let's go here. c6, there's rook c3. So I'll try to get in here, cause some problems. Bishop d4, I can take on e7, maybe. See if I can get him to blunder that. Like, bishop move, rook takes e7. Um, You know what? I'm going to take this chance. Let's try it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll go here, I guess. Hitting the rook, also b7, but I may get mated. Well, yeah, that's pretty decisive. I can't stop the mate on the back rank. Okay. All right. So two and two. This will be the deciding game of the, of the mini match here. All right. Let's stick with d4, d5. Let's see if he repeats the same line. Queen b3. Um, okay, I'm going to play it slightly different this time. Bishop g4 instead of bishop f5. Let's take. I like playing this sort of structure. So it seems like a good structure to go to, especially when time has been a factor. Okay, knight d5 maybe? Let's go there. Mm -hmm. Play g6. Really block up the position. That's how you play this. <laughs> Go knight here. Bring the queen out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a6. More pawns on light squares. Debating if I want to play knight takes c3 somewhere. Or knight takes e3. 
Let's go h5 for now. We won't make a decision yet. We'll just play some improving moves. There's not a whole lot white can do here, fortunately for me. Okay, let's go rook b8. Offer a queen trade. Goes back, okay. I don't really want to draw, but let's see what he does. Okay. Let's go here now. Okay, some rearranging going on. Queen a4, I think I'll play rook a8. No, he goes there. Okay, let's do this. Maybe b5, b4. Okay, he's sending that around. How about takes now? I think this is a good time to take. If pawn takes, I take on a3. He's going to give that. Okay. So he's going to play down a pawn, looking for activity. Let's go here. I'll take that. B5, B4 coming up. Yeah, I think I'll play this. C4, I get knight C3 in. Okay, now I'll take this way probably. Hit the queen, and I'm looking for this. Okay, this is a nice turn of events. Come in here, and I'm on this guy. Oh yeah, big pressure now. Let's go rook C2, followed by doubling. Queen e1 is not a move you want to have to play here as white. Also may run into knight d3 coming up. So full on attack here. All right, and I won. So I take this mini match against this player, this unintended mini match. I feel my commentary was all over the place, guys, in this one. So I do apologize for that. <laughs> Normally I like to keep it a little more instructive, but this is just one of these players that plays super fast and I had to be on the ball. I think I was behind on the clock in every game. Actually, I'm certain I was, but the result was decent. I think that first game I spent way too much time, like his style was, was kind of jarring. I liked my adjustment, especially in this last game. So playing bishop takes f3. This leads to a structure where it's hard for white to change up the pawn formation. They don't have any good breaks available. You can see when white played f4, looking for f5, I just shut it down, g6. So I have two pawns guarding that square. Also later when white was menacing h5, I always took measures to stop that. So I just tried to play a lot of patient moves here, even though I was burning some time on them. And eventually white made the decision that, you know, I'm sure they saw b takes a3 is gonna run into bishop takes a3, but I think they decided enough was enough. They didn't wanna wait. And that can be a useful strategy against players like this. Yeah, and by the time I got knight d5 and then b5 in, I was feeling very good about my position. b5, b4, and once d4 collapses, this is over. Too much pressure. So, yeah, I um, I wasn't intending on recording tonight. This is a little after midnight. I've been super stressed lately. Just a ton of uh, obligations, really, on my plate. Uh, Work-wise, personally, year-end craziness. But I wanted to record a video and challenge myself. And as I've said recently, like chess has always been my, my place to like escape. And it's such a logical game. I, I feel like good things happen when you just commit to the process in chess. And that's what I hope to do in this, this mini match. So I'm pretty happy with this result. Hope you guys enjoyed these games. I'm gonna watch this back later, see what I can improve on. Hope you guys are doing well and I'll be back again 
with a new video very soon. See you guys. Thanks for watching.